Hey Floss Tube, it's made by Michelle McGraw and I'm Michelle McGraw um, and I'm here to talk to you about my stitching. So this is my third Floss Tube video and I was planning on doing this video last Saturday and my husband Saturday morning um, took a rare day off. He, we own our own business so he does not take many Saturdays off. He tends to work on Saturdays and all through the week. Um, but he asked me, he's like, what time does that cross stitch store close? And I was like, what? So we went to um, Sassy Jack Stitchery in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, first time I'd ever been there. I learned about it recently um, through a retreat that was gonna go like spend a day at this, like spend a couple hours at the store during their retreat. Um, I wasn't able to go to the retreat. The dates didn't work out for me. Um, I'm still hoping that I'll find a retreat that the dates do work for me, but I haven't found one yet. So um, I'm on the wait list for StitchCon. I actually would love to go to StitchCon. I was born in Tiffin, Ohio. I live in North Carolina near Charlotte um, now. So I would love to go back and see Tiffin. Um, I would love to go back and see the surrounding areas. I know there is a stitching store in Finley, Ohio, and my mom used to do cross stitch and go to a store in Finley. I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. Um, I need to ask her if she remembers what the name is, but I would love to go to that store as well. But I'd like to go see my hometown and just see what it looks like now because I left there when I was seven. Um, so for me, it would be, we've been, we went back maybe one other time. Um, so it's been years and years and years so, since I've seen the town. So I'd love to do that. I'd love to go to StitchCon. Um, so we'll see if they call my name um, or email me or whatever it is. Anyhow, we went to the um, Sassy Jack Stitchery. Um, my husband found a chair and sat down. <laughs> but he definitely took me. He, he did it for me. Um, and then I looked around. I will show you my haul from there. Um, it's a great store. Um, so if you decide to go, spend some time because they have a lot of bins to look through. So it's, it's a lot. And they have a lot of fabric as well. Um, the nice thing about the fabric or the bad thing, I'm not sure. Um, the nice thing is they're all in tubs and they're labeled. But I believe that some people overlook the tubs because they're kind of behind the table and maybe they don't think that they can take those tubs off the shelf. I took them off the shelf and was rummaging through. So uh, definitely do. And I found some good fabric that I wanted. So um, it's it's a great store. Lots and lots of things. They had a um, lot of different kinds of charts. Um, and then they had cards that had charts on them. And it was something from their store, like directly done for their store, which I thought was kind of cool. That's something I hadn't seen somewhere else. It was directly to that store. So that was kind of cool. Um, after we went to the store, we drove the Blue Ridge Parkway. Not really my cup of tea. Driving in the mountains. I don't like curvy roads. And it, my husband loves it. He loves to drive. Um, not me. I mean, it was beautiful. And we stopped a couple places. And I took some pictures and got out and looked. I'm more of a beach person. But um, it was nice to spend the day. And then we went and ate at Tropical Grill, which was in Spruce Pine, North Carolina. And the food was so good. With that said, it was so spicy because um, it was like Jamaican. It was so good. But like both me and my husband, I was like, my lips are on fire. Um, but it was so good. I would definitely eat there again. I think I would choose a less spicy dish. I love spicy food. So it was really spicy for me um but it was fantastic we talked with the chef and i mean it's typical mountain restaurant little hole in the wall um you had to go outside to get the bathrooms i think there was maybe six to eight tables inside if that it was very very small and then they had um like an overhang porch and there was tables on that overhang porch and that's where we ate outside because it was a beautiful day in the mountains um, unlike today, which is like 98 degrees and like 150% humidity. You know, I don't know if that's what it is, but it is oppressive outside today in North Carolina. So if you live in a cooler environment, North Carolina people aren't liking you right now. No, I'm just kidding. We're jealous. That's what it is. We are jealous because this is 
not good North Carolina weather. This is awful. So um, we ate, we were gonna spend the night in the mountains and then to get to like a um, decent hotel, we would have had to drive for like 45 minutes and we figured if we're gonna drive 45 minutes, we'll just drive an hour and a half and come home. And so that's what we did. So we had a nice day, just me and him. Um, we have three boys and so my, my youngest is 12. Um, he'll be 13 in October. Oh my gosh, how is that possible? Um, but like they're old enough to, well, two of them weren't home that day. He was home. Um, they're old enough to, you know, fend for themselves during the day. And then our older son was going to be here that night to make, yeah, I just made sure he was going to be home, um, to be here for somebody to sleep at the house with him. So anyhow, we had a great time. We did not spend the night, but it was, it was a nice relaxing day. So I did not um, film a floss tube last week. So, and that's why. So that was, that was fun and rare. And I'm trying to do it every two weeks because I feel like with two people on a floss tube, you have, um, things to show on each other with one person. I don't know if I have enough stitching done to show each week, but I don't know if there's a demand, then we'll do it. Um, this is my third floss tube and I have a giveaway. So, I tried it, I came back, it wasn't too bad and I'm back again. So now I'm kind of getting like I'm enjoying this and I look forward to sharing with you guys. So I make little notes in my notebook throughout the week so I can make sure I do talk about all the stitching that I've been doing. So let me first show you my haul because I have everything piled up. So I am a huge Prairie Schooler fan and they had a ton of the little Prairie Schooler cards, um, different patterns, um, and they were like a dollar. So I picked them up because they were some patterns that I did not have. Um, so these will make really good different kind of ornaments and that's kind of what I'll use them for. Um, I loved that one. I thought that was so cute. And they kind of all play off of patterns that Prairie Schoolers do. They're just like a mini version. And I'm sorry if you hear noise, my dog's got a bark box today and they're, they're playing with the toys like right below me. I have three Cavaliers and sometimes they get a little out of hand. Okay, so this one is my least favorite. I don't like the colors, but I think if I change it to more typical Prairie Schooler colors, which are more muted, I'll love this. So I'll make this into an ornament. So I got those. Um, what else? I got Christmas Means More from Heart in Hand. I got Long May She Wave by Barbara Anna Designs. So a patriotic one. And I definitely need to do more patriotic. I think that's one season that I don't do well. I got Eat, Sleep, Stitch, Repeat. I'm actually gonna do this for my craft room and I'm gonna change the colors. So I will show you, I'm not exactly sure what colors I'm gonna use, but I picked up some fancy floss, all different colors. And I'm gonna choose either three or four of these and stitch it. I, I don't know what ones they're gonna be yet. I have piles everywhere. I have Liberty from Lizzie Kate. I love Lizzie Kate stuff. This one I am so excited to do. It's actually got the fancy floss in it and it is one more stitch by Little House Needleworks. And I wanna do that for my craft room also. Um, okay, so this one, is, this is funny because I don't have any grandbabies and my youngest is 12. So I think it's funny, but I got a Lizzie Kate O Baby. But I really liked how simple it was and I figured I'll put it in my stash because one day, um, here's the church. I like this. It says, here's the church, here's the steeple, open all the doors and see all the people. And my grandfather used to say that to me all the time and then do the little, you know, here's the church, here's the steeple. So I thought that was so sweet. So I liked that one. This is a company that I've never heard of. Um, is uh, Kelslin, and it is Boo, but I loved that. 
It's very simple, but I think it's very pretty. Okay, so that's all of my normal patterns. I got not only fancy floss, but I got fuzzy floss. So I'm doing the um, stitch along with Witchy Stitcher for the um, Haunted House. And it's Universal Monster Stitch Along. And there is a werewolf and I'm gonna do him in fuzzy floss. So if you can see that, it is definitely fuzzy. So I get a variety of shades. They had tons. The other fun thing that I got was Lizzie, K she had Lizzie Kate books, and I'm not gonna go through all these, but she had them in packs of five, and you could only see the one on the front and the one on the back, and it was $15, it was marked down. It was in her sale bin. So as you can see, I have a bunch of these little quick ones from Lizzie Kate, and I figured if I used three of them, because one of the patterns that I found by itself in the store was five fifty. dollars so if I use three of them, I got my value and I got two extras. There are duplicates in here, so I'm gonna be doing some giveaways with these. And that's kind of why I bought them. I thought, well, you know, I'll do giveaways on my floss tube. So I'm excited to pass that along to you guys. Okay, so that is all my patterns. Let me just put this away so I can put it down. I did get some fabric. I got 16 count. Um, picture this plus, I'm trying to see, Mirage, I think is what it's called. And it's beautiful. I love that. So a good gray, it kind of has a purpley tinge to it. Um, but I thought that was very useful. Here's another one, I think this is called, this is another picture this plus and it is Nessie. These were new colors from 2019, and I don't have any of these colors. Um, let me see. This side is prettier, I think. Just a real muted, like, sea green. It's very pretty. Um, so I liked that. And then my husband said this one looked dirty. Ah, okay. Um, okay, I can't tell the name on this one. It says new 14 count picture this plus and it's kind of a rainbowy so i liked that <laughs> my husband was not a fan he was like huh because i was kidding up a project and he like vetoed that one right away i was like oh okay moving on so um let's see i got another piece this is heart no heartland from picture this plus also new for 2019 Just a really nice neutral. I'm a huge Picture This Plus fan for their fabric. I have tons of their fabric and I've gotten it directly from Picture This Plus, but I've also gotten it from shops and I've gotten it from 123 Stitch. Um, and I love how soft it is because I am an Ada stitcher. I just, I, it's what I learned on, it's what I like, it's what I enjoy, it's easy for me. So I really enjoy stitching on that. Okay, so. Let's see, what did I, I have some things that are kitted up, so I will show you my soon to be starts because they're laying on top. So I have Happy Camper, and this is from Lori Holt of Bee and Bonnet, and I also got the floss pack that Fat Quarter Shop recommended. Um, I have never used this floss before, so that was kind of why I wanted to stitch this. I know that doesn't sound right, but I enjoy trying new floss, and um, that was something I wanted to try. So I have a piece of Ada Tumbleweed. That's, that's what it's gonna go on. So I already have it sized out. So that is kitted up, ready to get started. I also bought Michael Myers from the Witchy Stitcher, who I'm a huge fan of. If you've never tried her on Etsy, uh, try her out. And I have picked a muted orange fabric. So this came from my stash. It doesn't have a name. It's pretty stiff, so it's old school Ada, but um, it's in my stash and I like to use what I have. So I liked that these are old horror movies. I love old horror movies, the ones without special effects. 
Um, Halloween, um, which is Michael Myers. I love the Jason, early Jason movies. Um, all of those kind of, you know, just running around screaming. I don't want the special effects, but I enjoy those. And let me see if I can see who this is from. Oh, Lordy. Let's see. I think I need my glasses, my other reading glasses. Quilt Knit Craft. That's the tag on here. I got these from Etsy. And I will, um, I will try, I thought I saved the card for them. Hold on. Oh, okay, well it is Quilt Knit Craft um, Knitting Project Bags from Kathy Norman. And she is on Etsy. Um, look at this bag. Old horror movie bag. Is that not awesome? It is not a vinyl front bag, but I've said before, I don't mind if it's not vinyl front. I love this. There is interfacing in here. Like it's a, it's a thick bag, so it does not um, puddle. As you can see, it stands up on its own. I love this. I got two bags from her. I don't see where the other one is right this second. So if I come across it, I'll point it out that it's her bag. It's phenomenal. I love it. Um, so I kitted up that. I'm ready to do Michael Myers, um, which will go along with three other projects. And I will show you, I started one, I'm fixing to finish one tonight, and then I'm gonna display them as a group of three. It'll be Michael Myers, it will be Welcome Campers, and it will be um, Welcome to Crystal Camp Crystal Lake. And I'll show you those in just a minute. Um, what else do I have kitted up? So I have another Prairie Schooler kitted up. This is November. So I am ready to kit this. I'm ready to start this. And I have not cut my fabric because it's huge. Um, this is Driftwood Yorkshire. It's pretty stiff, but I love the color. And I don't know if you can see in here all of the fall colors because I have all of the floss in there already. It looks fabulous on this fabric. So I'm excited to start that. Um, I have a spot that I'm gonna be putting all of these um, Prairie Schooler projects in. And so I wanna do all of those long kind of skinny ones. I also have, let me try to show this without the chart because I think I, oh yes, here it is. Ghouls Just Want To, and this is from the Frosted Punch, Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, I have that kitted up and I have chosen my fabric. This was from a stitchy box that I got a while ago. I used to get stitchy box. I haven't gotten it in a while, but this is 16 count velvet sky and it was an exclusive for them. So it's real pretty. So I'm going to do that. It has a little bit of um, modeling on it. It's very hard to see on camera. I don't think it'll pick it up. Maybe a little bit. You can kind of see. Um, so I have that kitted up. I actually need to put this in a page protector and I will show you that in just a minute because I did bring my page protectors out okay so I'll go to my Amazon stitching finds these are things that I order a lot from Amazon so I was spending some time in my craft room if you have been doing the common thread wait a minute I'm gonna get it wrong the common common thread it's a hashtag and I've been using it, it's like day 12, 15, I don't know. Anyhow, I've been doing that on Instagram and it is so nice to meet new stitchers and um, new floss tube people and new projects and people have been enabling and new friends and I love it. So um, that's been a great thing. I, I think that it has been awesome um, to encourage and, and, and meet new people in the community. Um, so I had put on there, they showed your, one day was your pattern stash. So I keep all of my patterns in a filing cabinet and they are labeled into categories with the exception of Frosted Pumpkin and um, Prairie Schooler. Because, I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. Those two patterns, those two companies, I dig in those to find what I have rather than look through the categories, if that makes sense. So um, if I had a summer pattern, it would go in summer. If I had, like I have fairy tale category, I have um, 
Disney, I have winter, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, Easter, all the typical holidays. I do break down my Halloween and Christmas because that's what I have the most of. So I kind of break those down to like religious Christmas, um, Christmas houses, Christmas Santas, um, Halloween. I have Halloween witches, Halloween houses. Yes, I have a lot of Halloween. Um, love to stitch Halloween. That's probably my favorite to stitch. I love the colors. So I always enjoy that. So one of the things that I had shown was here is my patterns in the cabinet and they're all filed, but I have a 31 bin. It's a uh, your way display bin that when I get a new pattern, I throw it in that bin. And then when I have time, I sit down and I file all of those patterns in there. I log them into my X stitch app so that I can try not to buy duplicates, although it happens of patterns, I can look in there and see, do I have this pattern? Cause it's by name. And I think you can also search by um, designer. And so I can find the patterns. And um, so I, I do that. What I do with any PDFs that I have printed is I get these Avery job ticket holders and they're from Amazon. There's normally a number on here. Uh, no, 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 75009 is the number of the Avery product. Um, what I do is I will trim the top of this off with scissors. It just cuts with scissors and it fits down into the cabinet better that way. And that's where my patterns, my PDFs, this one is not trimmed. Um, but this is how I put my PDFs in here. So the front will be the picture of the project. The pattern is in there. And then the back will have my color guide and any notes or anything that I've, any switches that I've made on colors. This pattern, the color guide was on the pattern. So that's why I blocked the top, I'm sorry. So um, that's what I do with all of mine. The other things that I buy on Amazon are no slip hoops. So if you've never seen a no slip hoop, they're pretty basic, except, and let me see if I can open this quickly to show you. they have a groove inside the hoop. Can you see that groove? And it prevents your fabric from slipping. They're, they're kind of like the Rolls Royce of hoops to me. I like hoops better than Q-snaps because Q-snaps aggravate my carpal tunnel. Um, I think it's just the dimension of it holding it in my hand and it just, it, it bothers me, so I like a lightweight hoop. I will use a lap stand um, to help a lot of times because if I hold something for a long time, it can aggravate it. Hoops don't aggravate it as much, but um, if I can comfortably stitch with a lap stand, I like to stitch with two hands and that goes fast. The other thing I get off of Amazon, I've showed you guys this before, is the Knitter's Pride and it's the pattern holder. So as you can see, it props up it comes with three magnets and a strip magnet. And then you can also fold it flat for storage. Here is the small size. Here is the bigger size. And it just depends on what size pattern that I'm using on what size I use. But I always have one of those with my projects all the time. So um, I use them a lot. Okay, so I will show you some uh, let's see. I will show you some. This one is my Christmas tree farm from Prairie Schooler. And I did two finishes off this. So here's my first finish. I finished the big one of tree farm. Um, and then trying to just throw that out of the way. I did the little um, house and car that I'm gonna turn into an ornament for one of my sons. Um, I have the same kit. I have a piece of fabric in here and I'm going to do the little one here. Just so I can say that I've done all of the patterns on here. But I also think that this part right here with the deer and the car, like if you made like a little square, would make an awesome ornament. Would that not make an awesome ornament with the little tree on top of the car and the deer jumping over the fence? 
I love that. So I might turn that into an ornament as well. Even though I've already stitched it on the big one, I think it will make up a great one. All right, so whips, I worked on my Hocus Pocus, which I didn't get much done. This is Prairie Schooler Hocus Pocus. And I have changed the colors. So I'm doing it on orange fabric and I'm changing all of the orange in the pattern to purple. So I stitched this square. I'm not totally done, but I stitched a little bit on that this week. Um, let's see. The other one I started today because I was at my office and I was working on a project that I cannot let one of my kids see. And he came down to the office today. So I put it away and I started on Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake from the Witchy Stitcher. And this is my start. So I have Welcome to, and I start the word camp. Um, this is a piece of, I think it's called, Hold on, I'll be able to tell you. It's out of my stash. It is Golden Harvest 14 Count Ada. And it is a great muted yellow. And I love that this is kind of a retro pattern um, from a, you know, old movie. And so I think that that's fabulous. I loved that. Okay, this is the third one. I'm almost done. I'm gonna finish this tonight. I can show you the pattern because it's a free one from Witchy Stitcher. And this is where I'm at. I literally just have to fill in here. So I will have get this done tonight. And that's gonna be one of the three that I display. So I'm gonna have the Welcome Campers, Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake, and Michael Myers. And I'm gonna have all of those in some sort of frame together. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but we'll see. Okay, so this is a previous finish that I have not shared before. This is, hold on, it's rolling. Welcome to Winterfell. And this is uh, Country Magic Stitch. And this is on Etsy. And this is from Game of Thrones. So I will, I need to wash this and block it and all that kind of stuff before we frame it. It will get framed because it's gonna go on my wall with my other big ones, but that will get done. Um, I also started and finished from the last time, Oh My Gourd from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, yes. Um, is that not adorable? Those gourds are adorable. And I used confetti, um, it's called Confetti Ada. It's somewhat, somewhat soft, but if you can see the teeny tiny print on there, it's like, it's got light oranges, yellows. I, I think there might be pink on here, but it does not show up pink. It actually shows up more orange and like muted green. So I thought it was like the perfect piece. And I had a little piece of it. I had cut a project to do on this and then it, it didn't turn out that I used it. And I had this little piece left over and so it was the perfect project for that. These are two previous finishes and I have to wash these as well and frame them yet. Um, these will go in my changeable frames, I think. So this is from Mill Hill and this is City Hall. And I don't do all of the beading on Mill Hill kits. I do some of the beading. I don't like all of the beading um, on the pattern. Some of it's pretty, I, I, all of it's pretty, all of it's pretty. For me, I just like a little bit of beading. So the great thing with Mill Hill kits is you can choose not to do the beading and you can just stitch the color that would go, that you would use, you would use the DMC thread to go under, to stitch the bead on, just stitch it normal. Just instead of putting a bead there, use that color and make a stitch. So on this one, you can see, I obviously use the wreath and then there's some beading of the swag right here. If you can see that beading. And the swag you almost have to do the beading for because that you probably can't stitch in there like that. 
So I thought that was nice. It's part of their Christmas Village set. This is the Village Inn. And I did a smidge more beading here. As you can see, I did the snowman button and then I did beading for, on the light poles, you can see the beading. And then um, a swag up here on top. And I think I did some beads in the tree right there too. I don't think you can see them too good. They're red, but they're really, really deep, deep red. So I did a little bit of beading, beading on that as well. I have um, several of those that I want to finish, but those were previous ones that I have not shown. So now we are down to finishes. So I finished Witch Better from the Frosted Pumpkin. And this is the first time I've ever done a cube finish. I am by no means an expert. I love a cube finish because you literally pin it. And I don't even think you can see my pins on camera, but you pin it everything. So you fold your fabric and you pin it. You fold your accent fabric back here and you pin it. And then you put a ribbon to hide your seams. Easy peasy. Um, I am not a bow person. So foofy fluffy is not me, but I did scrunch a bow and kind of put pins in it. I found all of my picks from local craft stores. So like Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Um, I love the candy corn because it, it does say which better have my candy. And then I found this little pick that had skulls on it. And I took the pick apart and just used little pieces of it because I it was a big pick. So that is my finish. My very first cube finish. I definitely, I've been, setting this out. It's on my table beside my chair and I'm not putting it away. I, I know it's not Halloween, but I'm so obsessed with this. I love this. Oh my gourd probably will be finished like this, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So the other thing that I'm going to show you guys are, is my cross stitch board. This is one cross stitch board. I have three. So this is my black board that I have. Um, this normally hangs on my wall and I change these frames out. So these frames are actually, they are, there's a glare, I'm sorry. They are Christmas ornaments from the Pottery Barn. So all I do is I take the back out. When I finish them, Ada works really well for this. I cut it down to size, and then on the edges, I put no fray. You cannot see the no fray on the edges, but it will keep those edges from fraying. And as you can see, right, I just dropped the back of it, but as you can see, you literally put it back in there. I always use a paper behind it. And I put the back on it, click it back up, and then I hang it back up. These are Prairie Schooler ornaments, Prairie Schooler pattern that I made into a set of four. And I switched these out seasonally. So I will be switching these out soon to fall, and I will show you them then. The board is very simple. Um, it's a craft board. There's nothing special about this, you can buy them in the craft store. My dad made me my first one, which I will show another time. And he actually took a tool and like beveled the bottom differently um, and made like this scalloped edge. But I was able to find one years later with the scalloped edge. And then my husband drilled holes and put the hooks and he angled, the, they're just dowels, glued them in, he angled them up slightly. And then we just spray painted it, literally spray painted it. Um, and that's my display board. That's one of them. Um, I love because these projects are quick. You can do a little project like this and really feel like you're finishing something and, 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 and accomplishing something. You do have to have a set of four, um, to do the board. Although you could do your board in three or however you want to do it. You don't have to do four. We always did four because that's the one that my dad made me. So none of us thought let's do a board with three. 
Maybe I should do a board with three. Another project. So I have one in my kitchen right behind, um, it's by my kitchen door. So when you come in or out, you see it. And then this one um, actually is displayed on a little wall walking into my bedroom area. It's not in my bedroom, but it's in right outside my bedroom. So I see it every day. And then the other one is by my front door. So a little wall that's by my front door. And I love switching those out. And I have tons of these little cross stitch that I have done over the years that I can show you guys. Um, so I will show you those in upcoming videos. Um, but they're super fun um, to, to do. I have a dog that's trying to walk on my cross stitch. No, 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 no kisses, no kisses. This is Otis. He is um, the smallest of my Cavaliers. Um, he is a tri-Cavalier, which is tri-colored. Um, and one of the breeders told me a tri's attitude is try me. And so he is really keen if it's his idea and if it's not his idea, he's not keen on it. Um, yeah, but he's my little buddy. They're all my little buddy, but he's my little buddy. He was trying to walk across instead of walking around. It's why I put everything back in the bag when I set it down because I didn't want him to like step on everything and yeah. I try to keep the dog hair to a minimum. So like I'm constantly vacuuming and I'm kind you know, like cross stitch, I'm like, yeah, let's not sit on that. Let's, let's not do that. So that is all of my stitching that I have to share with you guys and um, my giveaway. Okay, so for the giveaway, I'm going to share a pattern, um, Quilter's Cottage, which I think is adorable. I actually have this in my stash and I want to stitch it. I'm going to leave the alphabet off and I'm going to move up the quilt row. I'm also going to change the colors on the quilt and change the colors on the house. Just a little bit more muted for me, but I think this is adorable. So. Here's what you need to do to enter the giveaway. You need to like my video and then you need to leave me a comment. So here is the question that I have this week. And apparently I learned from floss tubers that people go around and try to give giveaway, get giveaways and they really don't want the item that's being given away. Like if you're not a cross stitcher, why would you want a cross stitch pattern? Like what would you do with it? I guess resell it. I want this to go to somebody who's going to stitch it and love it. So what you do is leave me a comment. This is what I want to know. Do you frog? If you know what frog means, it is, it does have letters that mean something. And I don't offhand know what that means. I've always just called it frogging. Will you rip out stitches? You make them air or do you rip it out? Or do you work with your error? So for me, it depends. I'm not gonna point out what my error is on my Christmas tree um, farm from Prairie Schooler, but there are several errors in that pattern. If I don't show you what the error is, and unless you're maybe the designer, you would say, eh, girlfriend missed the door isn't where it's supposed to be in this little tiny house up to the side, it's one row over. There's one of my errors. I'm not gonna rip that out because it doesn't make a difference to the pattern. It doesn't change the look of the pattern if my door is one row over and the house still looks fine. Doesn't, doesn't matter, especially on that one. So I will show you what I'm talking about. So up top, there are tiny houses. If this green door is one row over, are you gonna notice that in my pattern? Nope, you're not gonna notice that. So I don't rip something like that out. Now, if it is something that um, I've counted and when I come to line things up, things are gonna be like this, then it has to come out, obviously. But if it's just a stitching error, um, you know, if I've caught, counted off here and my dot is, I, I don't rip that out. It's, this is blood splatter. Like, that's perfectly fine. It could be wherever it needs to be. And so I wouldn't, I don't sweat that, if that makes sense. Um, 
Now, if I came over here and I had a red dot in the middle of this, that might not look right and I would, I would take that out. But do you frog or do you work with your error? What do you do? So leave me a comment and um, I will pick a winner next floss tube and then I will have you email me your address and I will send you your chart out. So um, if you ever need to get a hold of me for whatever comments, you can leave me a comment below or you can email me at madebymichellemcgraw at gmail.com. So you can always do that. Um, so that's it today. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. It is Friday here. I normally don't film on Fridays. I film on Saturdays, but everybody is out of the house. And um, tomorrow morning, I wonder if they're going to work because it's so hot. So I might have a house full. So I thought tonight it is. I've been up since 5.15 because on Fridays I open the office and I have to be there at 7 and we live about 45 minutes away from my office. So um, I have to get out the door no later than 6.15 and then I can um, grab something, generally 45 minutes going through a drive through and picking something up really quick or stopping by Starbucks and getting a coffee. There's a Starbucks like the next exit up from my um, office, two exits up. So I can swing through that drive through and that gives me enough time. So I've been up since 5.15. It's why it's not, but we're just gonna, we're rolling with it. So that's, it is what it is. I was gonna film the other day and then I had gotten my hair colored and I have, like you can still see it right here. I have very fine hair right here that she kind of has to cover. And like, I never like that. And like right afterwards, I, it has to fade off my skin. Like right there, you can see. Didn't look right. Right there. All right. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the video with my finger over here since I showed it to you. Just kidding. Okay, so leave me a comment. And I'm glad that, um, so thankful for all the comments and the new subscribers and old, old people that have watched the last two. I say old people, older viewers, older, that's not the right word. So if you watched all my videos, that's the word I'm trying to say. If you've watched all my videos up to now, great. If you're new, great, fantastic. Um, love that. Thank you all. Thank you for all the comments. And um, enter in for the giveaway. So good luck and I will see you guys again. Thanks.